Four months ago, I quit my full-time corporate job and became a freelancer. And it was probably the best decision I could have ever made. Hi, my name is Maris and I'm a senior iOS engineer and indie developer. I'm also posting stuff on Twitter to build in public group, so make sure to check that out if you want to see more about my journey of building apps and making money off of them. In this video, I would like to walk you through my journey of how I became a freelancer while I go through my day. I was in Thailand for five weeks last year on the best trip of my life and it got me thinking about my purpose and my why and I had a lot of time to think. I had been working for IBM as iOS developer for five years back then. That's where the first idea for a change appeared. I was trying to think about all of the pros and cons of being a freelancer and being an employee, such as flexibility in choosing clients and projects, ability to set your own schedule and work from anywhere, potential for higher earnings based on skills, and greater autonomy and control over your work and career development. As with everything, with freelancing there is no one-size-fits-all kind of thing, so it's not for everyone. While this is true, What's also true is that if you have a gut feeling that you would like to try freelancing, you should go for it. I quit my full-time corporate safe and cozy job in May 2023 and have never looked back since. For me, five years was a long time and I was frustrated with everything. I would even say I quit the job too late and should have done so perhaps two years earlier. It took me almost one year to pull the trigger and start looking for a freelance job and I eventually founded my own company and found a job on LinkedIn. Speaking of LinkedIn, if you plan to switch to freelancing, make sure to update and polish your LinkedIn profile. That's where all magic happens. And if you don't have a profile on LinkedIn yet, pause the video and go create one right now. I reached out to all headhunters who reached out to me before and eventually got lucky. I found a long-term contracting job. Now, you might ask, what is the difference between freelancer and contractor? And the answer is, it depends. I personally think it's the same thing, but many people say that freelancer is a person working on a short-term gigs and has to always look for a new job after the previous one is finished, while a contractor works on a longer-term contract, for example for three months, with an option to extend the contract. I personally prefer contracting because I don't want to be stressed out not having a job after the current one is finished. So as I mentioned in the beginning, I'm a freelancer for four months now and it was the best decision I could have ever made. The jump from an employment to freelancing is so big that even today I'm still smiling when I think about how free I am. On the other hand, I was scared a lot. You never know if you'll find another client after the current one. Now it's all on you and your discipline to work. If you don't work, you don't get paid. However, my overall happiness is much higher and so is my willpower to work on my side projects. Now, I would like to hear from you. Are you a freelancer? Do you think about switching to freelancing? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe because you might like my other videos as well. 
thank you for watching and I will see you soon.